Good day everyone, this is Eloy Espalon of, of 3 and ST 5A and I am here to present the activity number 5. So I am not used to praising or defending any politician but I can do an acknowledgement at least. <laughs> this might sound unfair but I can choose my best president but I can pick my worst one. <laughs> yes, so I'm torn between choosing Duterte, Estrada and Marcos. So I decided to remove the 30 from the list since his term is not yet end. And as they say, mahaba pa ang papel, wag muna natin tuldukan. So between Marcos and Estrada, I would choose Marcos. Since almost 50 years ago, Philippines had experienced its darkest time. As then, former President Marcos declared martial law nationwide. Um, according to Amnesty International, it recorded about 70,000 um um, prisoners, 34,000 tortures, and about uh, more than 3,000 being killed. It was clearly an era of killings, of torture, of censorship, of disappearances. And it was an era of zero criticism to the government because you can't say any neg negative comments to the government because if you do, you will get punished. As, as an example is that of what happened to a boy, he was 21 years old at that time, he was Archimedes Trijano, when he tried to question why I, me Marcos, daughter of President Marcos, is why she is the chairman of Kabataang Barangay. And on that day, on the same venue, he was forcibly taken by I, Miss Bodyguard, was tortured, and was forcibly taken out of the window. That how horrible that era is. Medias were being shut down and in fact, if I am recording this video during that time, maybe, maybe on the following day I would be dead. Because that's, that's what, what is happening during that time, during that, um, a lot, uh, there, actually there were a lot of victims, like for example, um, Lili Hilao. She was 20 year old that time, a prolific writer of, of, her, uh, of her university of Pamantasa na Manila. She was arrested, she was detained and was, was, was tortured and was raped in front of her 16 year old sister. Another student, Maria Elena Ang, a 23 year old journalist student from the University of the Philippines, she was arrested and detained. And she experienced tortures, such as electrocution, electrocution of her genitals. And she was, and she was sexually violated during her detention. Another victim was a doctor, a UP doctor in UPPJH. He was Dr. Um, Iskandor. Uh, who, Dr. Juan Iskandor was killed by Philippine uh, Constabulary and when his body was found, according to a pathologist, his, his skull was emptied and was filled with plastics, plastic bags, trash, and other bears. And uh, what was more horrible is that his brain was um, stuffed inside his abdominal cavity. Another victim Boyet Mejares. Boyet Mejares is a son of a whistleblower. That time his father was missing and then somebody called him that his father was found. So he go to where is that place is and then the day after, um, Boyet's body was found out down outside Manila. His, um, he, wa, he had multiple stab wounds and his head bashed in, his hands and feet and genitals were mingled. Um, another victim is um, Nerical Minales, an 18-year-old activist. He was tortured by members of the Philippine Constabulary. And um, aside from that, he, um, he, he, were, he witnessed how his fellow detainees were being tortured, how their penises were being electrocuted, and as well as being buried alive, buried alive in a steel drum. Another victim, Hilda Narciso. Hilda Narciso was a church worker when she was arrested. Um, confined in a small, she was confined in a small room, fed with a soup worm, and was gang raped multiple times. Those are just a few of the people who were victims during this mar mar martial law. Despite of these evidences, there are still Marcos apologies out there. There are still 
people who believed that this era was uh, an era for for peace, right? But we uh, we should not argue with them. We should not debate with them. But rather, what we need to do is to tell them the real story behind this nightmare. What we need to do is to educate them. And what we need to do is to never forget. Never again. That would be all. Good day.